and it's Amira Azmi. We are from Nature, Nature Society members from our university. Now, we want to discuss and decide the best activity for the Nature Week. Now, uh, now I will pass this discussion to the participant A to explain his point. Thank you, Alice Azza. Now, I in fact, I want to discuss our our first activity. So the first activity that we can organize is the chimpanzee activity. As you know, the ocean layer of the earth becomes thin caused by the carbon the, uh, the highest carbon dioxide and chlorofluorocarbon of the national sea. So that all the country in the world started to repart the tree. As you know, if you repart the trees, the rate of oxygen will increase. Then then if you plant uh, you plant the trees also you can undergo the photosynthesis process. If you plant the trees, the rate of oxygen will increase. As you know, as you know, when you do plant the tree, uh, you can appreciate our appreciate the flora. <coughs> and as you know also, uh, you can also know many species of the plant that you never heard before. And then you can also can take care of the Laura. I'm sorry, but I think uh, my point is, my, uh, uh, his point is same with me because yeah, my, I will organize to uh, a trip to the national park. This trip, we also can uh, know how to appreciate the the plant, the flora and fauna too. And of course, uh, in national park, we have a lot of uh, exotic plants, exotic animals. So, uh, in this tree, in this activity, we will not, uh, we will know much more better, much more knowledge. We have we gain my, much more knowledge than uh, tree planting activities. So, yeah. Uh, now I will pass back to participant A. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. That's a good idea. But you must know that uh, our in this activity we want to learn how to take care about the flora and then from that we can appreciate more about the flora and then that's all from me and I pass to you. Okay. Thank you Irfan. Yeah. Now I will explain my point which is uh, I will organize uh, this activity to uh, a trip to the national park. Uh, for, for my first point is in, to uh, to this street, we have in this street we have tourist guide, which is can give us some knowledge about much more uh, about plants and animals. Now we can learn uh, their names, uh, the species, characters, and everything. So new generation will not confuse. Um, they're all about the species. Next. We will know more about exotic species. Uh, plus. In this national park, we have uh, exotic species. So uh, now these uh, the students will know about more uh, exotic uh, exotic species because now this exotic species is uh, are extinct uh, because of uh, weather phenomena and there is no exotic uh, species in our university. So yeah, you can learn about more about that. Okay, I would like to interrupt. Hi, I'm Azri, and my proposal is actually a bit similar to Anissa's. Um, and mine in this includes the camping trip to a forest reserve. Okay, um, so in this camping trip, we could, uh, okay, this camping trip could be held in you know places like streams, which are you know 100% nature based. So it's pretty green and environmental. Therefore, in okay, this camping trip would you know enhance the uh, enhance the younger generation to appreciate nature more as the activities will be um fully covered on nature nature kind of things. But my activity the students will get more uh, experience because in this activity, they can do what they want in their national park, but they must preserve the nature. 
such as they can walk in the jungle uh, and see in uh, see their uh, the exotic flora and fauna with their own eyes. Okay, get, get it? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. But wait, um, my campaign trip proposal includes jungle tracking. You know, the students, I mean, the participants could actually do the same as, as what you did, what you, what you said just now. You know, walk, walk in the jungle, uh, you know, see all the flora and fauna, all the exotic kind of. See everything. It's the same, but it's, it's more fun because it's in a group. In a group, yeah, it's a group activity. So, what do you think? Yeah, that's good idea, Adri. So, uh, that's only from uh from from me. Now I will pass the for uh, another point to participant D, which is uh, who is Amira Hanani. Okay. Uh, thank you, Anis Amira. Uh, now. Uh, I want to discuss about uh, to organize a recycling day. As we know, uh, uh, participant A, B, and C, they are talking about nature, you know. But I want to talking about recycling because uh, okay, nowadays people take granted about recycle. Uh, they they do not take it seriously. And now I want to organize this activity to make it clearly. Okay, uh, first thing, as you know, uh, uh, recycle, we have, uh, if we want to recycle, we, we have three uh, components there. There's plastic, glass, and things. As we know, now these uh, teenagers, as uh, I, I want to involve the primary school students because we know that uh, they're as a uh, upholstery of our country, of our uh, nation, and this is very important because we as uh, university student, we, we as uh, university student, we have knowledge and we have uh, uh, many info about the about the importance of nature. Okay, this is important to support our Go Green project. Uh, that uh, we, as we know, Malaysia uh, are support uh, the Go Green project uh, to to enhance our nature. Okay, uh, that's all for me. Thank you. Okay, uh, as a conclusion, we conclude that uh, the best activity for this nature week we, uh, is to, to organize the trip to the, to the national park because at the national park, we can, uh, we can do more activities uh, and teenagers or nowadays uh, generation uh, can have more activity, uh, can, they can see the flora and fauna uh, by their own eyes and they also um, get more information about our nature there. Okay, that's all from us. Thank you.